I make the wire crafts like earrings, saxophones, wire cars for people to buy as gifts for their friends and their families. I never had other job opportunities. It was the only job that I could have to sustain my to sustain a living. But it was not good enough to sustain myself to have like regular income. On your own, you have no hope. You feel sorry for yourself. You feel hopelessly. You feel yeah, you don't belong to the society where other people belong. change Willard's life quite significantly. He's going to move from making little bead and wire key rings to making products that are going to sit in designer stores around the world. So far I've learned a lot that um, we don't have to only focus on small things like small crafts but we can also open our eyes and look into different markets that we can use our skills and make other products that can fit in other industries like the interior deco industry. It's an industry whereby we can market our product. There's less competition. We can go into the patio furniture industry. There's less competition. We can go in furniture in general. There's less competition. I also learned that doing good products and doing quality control and sticking to the terms of business, it satisfies the customers and they want to come and buy again. Because of working with Aid to Artisan now, I've got a big business, a sustainable business for myself and for my working team. Now we've got a workshop where we work from. Now we've got customers as well who do also buy from us. It's something that I appreciate uh, that have been done by the Aid to Artisan for me and my business. I thank you, Aid to Artisan. Thanks a lot. So this from little beaded, Key rings too. <laughs> 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 Terrible. <laughs>